Hi guys, I'm Lauren and today I'm bringing you my June wrap-up and July TBR. I actually got the months right on the first try this time. Yay! I gave up on three different books this month. I don't usually do that, so that was kind of new for me, but I knew that if I had kept reading any of them I would end up in a reading slump and not be able to read anything so that wouldn't be fun so yeah I'll get to those in a minute first I want to get through the books that I actually finished and first up is The Love Interest I actually really love this book it was a great fun read it touched on a lot of issues that I think needed to be touched on and I feel like Pride Month was the perfect month to read this book basic premise of the book is there's teenage spies that are trained to basically make a target fall in love with them so there's these two boys that are sent to make a girl fall in love with them and the twist is that the two boys actually end up falling for each other. It's really fun. While it is mostly lighthearted, there, it does touch on a lot of good representation issues that happen with LGBT characters. I loved how it like deconstructed a lot of the YA tropes too, and it also touched on representation issues. It was just a really fun read. I think I gave it 4 or 4.5 out of 5 stars, I don't really remember. But it's really good, and if you haven't picked it up yet, you totally should. I finished it in like three days. I couldn't put it down. The next book I finished is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and I already did a review on this, so I'm not really going to talk about it that much. I'll link the review down below so you can check it out. But this is a really fantastic high fantasy, and it's just amazing. I love this book. This whole series is my favorite books of all time. If you really like anything to do with storytelling, music, or magic, this is your book. You should check it out. And also check out my review if you want more details. And the last book I read was my nonfiction pick of the month, and it's Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. I'm not sure if this is actually classified as a nonfiction book, but I think it counts because he's taking the actual Norse myths and take in writing them in a way that's more novelized. Whoa. <laughs> Camera. He's just taking the Norse myths and writing them in a novelized way to make it easy to understand and follow them. And I think this is a really good way to approach different myths because any of the like Greek and Roman myth collections that I've read like in high school, they don't really do a good job of explaining the different characters and what is actually happening in the story and I often got a lot of the like minor and gods and goddesses really confused. The Norse mythology book is actually really short. I listened to the audiobook so it only took me like I think it was like eight or ten hours long and I had it on 1.5 speed so it wasn't that long but I really liked how simple and clear the writing style was and how detailed he was in uh, describing each of the characters, each of the gods, each of the quote-unquote monsters. It's a great read if you want to learn more about Norse mythology. Now I'm going to briefly talk about the books that I DNF this month. The first two, I barely read two chapters in them and then I decided I didn't care anymore. They were both sequels to series that had already started. One was a duology and one was a trilogy, but those are Rise of Fire and The Shadow Hour, and I talked about these each in my TBR, and I was planning to like power through them, and then I realized two chapters in for each of them, I don't really care about the characters in these books, I don't really care about what happens to them plot-wise, and I didn't really feel like taking the time and effort to force myself through a book that I didn't really care much about. Not, that's not to say these books are necessarily bad, I just didn't feel any personal interest, probably because I read the first books in these series a long time ago, so maybe if I had marathoned them, I would have cared more. Maybe I'll get to them later and try again, but right now I'm not going to read them. And the last book I DNF'd was Girl From Everywhere, and it's kind of the same situation as the other two books, except I was like halfway through this book. I ended up losing interest because I kept having to put the book aside to read other books that were due first at the library, and I ended up enjoying the books I actually finished from the library, and then when I went back to Girl From Everywhere, it just ended up being slow, and I didn't really care about what was happening at all. I might try this book again sometime in the future because I was really interested in the premise, and before I put the book down, I was interested to see what happened. But by the time I picked it back up, I was like, I'd rather read other books. So that's the end of my June wrap up. Before I get to my TBR for July, I just wanted to briefly mention I went to this really awesome used bookstore in Arkansas when I was visiting my sister during June and it was amazing. I don't even know how many square feet the store was. It was just 
ginormous. It was like a maze in there. They had books from the floor to the ceiling, and a lot of them were like super old books, which is really cool, and some of them were newer books, and it was just amazing. I was looking through that store for like maybe an hour because I definitely needed to find a book that I wanted so I could buy it, so I could have the memory of buying something at this amazing bookstore, but I ended up getting a really awesome edition of the book for eight bucks, and it's a hologram for the king by Dave Eggers. I really liked The Circle by him, so I'm interested to see this one. I will probably be getting to this this month, but that's kind of a spoiler for another video I'm doing. You'll see in a minute. This cover is really cool. It's like engraved. It just looks really, really, really cool. And I'm really happy I found something that I wanted to get there because I was not going to leave that store without buying a book. I just was not. It was too cool. Alright, let's quickly go through my July TBR. I finished The Name of the Wind and now I'm reading The Wise Man's Fear, the sequel to this. And I will probably finish it in July, but it's a pretty big book and I'm kind of taking my time to enjoy it. So I'm not sure. We'll see how that goes. Next up on my TBR is A Conjuring of Light by B.E. Swab. I actually just got this audiobook checked out from the library, so hopefully I can listen to the audiobook. I listened to the first two on audiobook, so I think it was a bit of a disconnect to jump into the physical edition for the third book in the series, and hopefully the audiobook helps me get through it. This is one of the books I would really, really like to finish this month, and if I don't, you can like, I don't know comment and make fun of me for not finishing it. This is a fantastic series and I'm really anxious to finish it. Next up is the first volume of The Wicked and the Divine. This is a really interesting comic book series. It's just basically like every hundred years, every 90 years, 12 gods are reincarnated as teenagers and they have two years to live their life. So it's super interesting and I'm really excited to get into it. I'm kind of trying to diversify my TBR so I'm not just reading big thick books all the time and I think that's why I'm only finishing two books a month because I have my fiction book and my nonfiction book. Having like a quicker graphic novel read will hopefully spur me on to keep going and I'm really excited to get into this. And the last book is a maybe, I don't know if I'll get to it, is The Gunslinger by Stephen King. I recently saw the trailer for The Dark Tower and I'm really interested in seeing the movie but I also really kind of want to try the book series first. I'm not usually the kind of person who like has to read the book before they see the movie. This fantasy series has been highly praised for many many years and I've never really been into it because I don't really like westerns and it seems more like a western than like actual fantasy but seeing the trailer gave me more insights into how the plot works so I'm kind of interested in this and this is also another shorter book. I think it's like less than 200 pages so maybe I'll pick this up after The Wicked and Divine but I'm not like gonna die if I don't read this. And I also have five more books on my July TBR but those are going to be a part of the biannual bibliothon that is happening at the end of July and I'm excited to participate in that and I'll have a TBR up for that when it gets a little bit closer and that's happening the last week of July. I'll have a link to the video of the reading challenges down below. All right, that's everything I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye. And very designed, like really interestingly. Very designed interestingly. That's a smart way to phrase it. No, I finished The Name of the Wind. Oh, stay up. Called the biannual bibliothon. Bibliothon.